atoms have subatomic particles. Here's an illustration of an atom. We can see it has a center core that we call the nucleus. Around the nucleus, we have particles that fly around in these orbits. We call them orbitals or energy levels. If we were to break this down even more, we can see that the nucleus is made up of two types of particles shown in red and yellow. The two particles that exist in the nucleus are protons and neutrons. The difference between them is that protons have a positive charge to them and their mass is one AMU, which is an atomic mass unit. Neutrons have the same mass as protons, but they're not charged. They're neutral. You can see why they're called neutrons. Flying around the nucleus so fast that it just looks like a cloud here, but we can see them better in this illustration, are electrons. Well, electrons don't really have a mass. This number is so small that we don't even have to worry about it. Compared to the mass of the protons and neutrons, electron mass is negligible. It's nearly weightless. Electrons do have a charge, and that is a negative charge. Atoms contain equal numbers of protons and electrons. So the protons in the nucleus equal the electrons in the energy levels or orbitals. So let's summarize what we went over on the previous slide. Which of the three subatomic particles exist in the nucleus? Well, protons, that's a check mark. Neutrons, yes. Electrons, no. What are the charges of the subatomic sub particles? Protons have a positive charge. Neutrons, they don't have a charge. Electrons, negative charge. What is the atomic mass unit of each of the subatomic particles? Think of it as mass or weight, although weight is not a proper way to look at it. Protons mass is one. Neutron, one. Electrons, nearly weightless, so we can say zero. So remember this chart as we're working through other problems as we go through this, this chapter. This is one element from the periodic table. It happens to be carbon. C is the atomic symbol, which is a letter or sometimes two letters to represent an element. The number on top of this atomic symbol is the atomic number. And this is a really important number. Never forget that the atomic number is the number of protons. Protons are in the nucleus. They're positively charged. They have an atomic mass of one. This always is the number of protons for the element. It's also the number of electrons until the atom reacts and then it, that can change, but the number of protons can never change for a specific element. That's the atomic number. The atomic mass is not listed on the periodic table. Well, how do we get the mass? So which two particles have mass? Protons and neutrons. Add the two together to get the atomic mass. We don't know how many neutrons are here, so we can't give that answer. Carbon or any other element can exist with more neutrons or less neutrons, making it heavier or lighter. So the atomic weight, which you see here, is an average of all the masses that exist. Those are called isotopes, and we'll deal with that in the next video.